Today, I'm gonna be showing you everything what I eat and how I train to get shredded. Are you ready? Let's go! It's a beautiful sunny morning today in NYC, so why not to start from the running session? Of course, I don't run every day. I try to stick doing it two times per week at moderate pace, which is one of the types of zone 2 cardio. In addition to losing fat and getting shredded, it is also beneficial for your longevity and cardiovascular system. So I do 40-50 minutes of that and then a couple of sprints at the end. That's it for my cardio session for today. You know what? I, I hate doing cardio in the gym. I think I've never done it actually. Or I don't remember when the last time I used like the track in the gym. It's so boring and it's bad air, all the sweaty people doing cardio in the gym when you can actually go outside on this wonderful, amazing sunny day and run around. I always try to do some funny cardio that I want to do. You go for a run, go for a walk, go for a swim. Go for a surf, whatever you find funny for yourself and do that. Super great feeling afterwards. So let's go take some shower and finally grab some food. All right, so the next scene as exciting as previous one, it's a cold showers here. I try to do them every day because they burn so lots of calories. And also it gives lots of benefits for your mental health, for your longevity, decreasing risk of inflammation. And the hardest part is to get inside. Let's do that. Also, if your goal is to get shredded, it's good not to put the warm clothes right out after the shower. Try to get dry and try to shiver as much as possible. Like, you don't want to be in a very cold room or outside on minus 20. No, I'm telling you, you're like inside in a comfortable temperature. Just try to relax. It's gonna be a little bit cold, but shiver gives you a lot of calorie burn, especially brown fat, and with that, you can get shredded even more. All right, it's time to have uh, some breakfast for today. Let's start. First, I spread Dilo curry avocado oil in the frying pan. Then I carefully add a couple of slices and fresh mushrooms, followed by 200 grams of organic chicken breast. Once the chicken is almost cooked through, I then add a bit of chopped onion to the pan to infuse the dish with a delicious aroma and taste. And finally, crack in two whole eggs. While the chicken and vegetables are frying, I toast a slice of whole wheat bread and add a tablespoon of peanut butter. Also make sure to eat plenty of greens to get enough vitamins. After finishing the main meal, I have a bowl of fruit. In this case, I have 100 grams of blackberries and blueberries with a couple of Brazilian nuts to support my selenium balance. My general idea for the breakfast is to have as few carbs as possible not to feel drowsy throughout the day with high protein and moderate fat. Here is the calories and macros. It's tasty, simple and healthy. All right, now I want to talk a little bit about how to lose the weight in general. First thing first, you can lose the weight only if you consume less than you burn. So calories in, calories out. So in my diet, I have 2000 calories per day, which is pretty low. My balance is around 27, 2800. So for sure I burned something. To make sure you burn fat and not muscles, you wanna keep your protein intake in two to 2.5 grams per pound of body weight. That's a good amount of protein to stick to, but it, you can easily get it with the whole foods. Second thing, second, you wanna keep your fats in the range of 0 0.4, 0 0.5 per pound of body weight. This is just for overall health to feel good throughout the day and not to make some harm to your body after your dieting. And make sure also you eat as omega-3 as omega-6. Most people under eat omega-3. It consists in fatty fish, nuts and seeds, plant oil. So keep omega-3, omega-6 in balance. And the rest of the calories you can fill out with the carbs. Make sure you eat some amount of carbs, quick carbs before the training to have the energy throughout your workout session and afterwards to fuel the body for it to build the muscle. 
the new video on my YouTube channel already. And by the way, guys, check out my Instagram on the link down below. I'm posting there almost every day. All right, it's time to have a second meal. Pre-workout meal consists only vegetables. The only reason is I, I don't eat dairies, meaning that I have to get some sources of protein except for the meat, so I use the tofu, which is the protein from the soybeans, basically. It's low calorie, but it's a big plate, right? After I finish that, I have some high protein drink, and also I wanna make sure that I get my omega-3 fatty acids in the normal range. I used to take three or four pills of that. It's just that, oh my God, three from the grocery store. Let's get it. It's time to go to the gym. And by the way, I use bicycle almost everywhere where I, I can do that. And I think it's a great habit to look for some ways of increasing your activities throughout the day, which can help you burn more calories, possibly more fat, and helps your overall health. We made it to the gym. Today is gonna be back in bicep day. So let's start. All right, first and first, as always, warm up your lower back a little bit. The second real exercise is gonna be lat pull down, one-handed. Trying to do three working sets and last one till failure. for today is gonna be roads. It's really hard to find some, some equipment that is not used. Monday is probably the most crowded day out here. And for the last one I decided to do a bison tri superset. I didn't actually count the reps and this was more about feelings and pumping blood into my arms. The last set was a drop set. the most exciting feeling to come out of the warm sweaty room here outside where it's fresh air and you're kind of tired but kind of happy let's go and cook some dinner this is time for the last meal for today after workout meal i try to keep it nice and simple for the protein sources i have beef or fish depending on the day and also this is the meal where i load myself with the carbs to get better sleep at the end of the day for the carb source i use either rice or the quinoa spaghetti again variety is the key here not to get used to one thing Also, the very important element of my dinner is some kind of fermented food. It can be either pickles, either olives, either something else. But it's very important to keep my gut microbiome in house. And I'll recommend everyone to add like 30 to 40 grams of that. It doesn't take any calories at all, but it, it'll boost your health. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up. Here you can see the total calories and macros for today. Now I'm just gonna take a small walk before the bad time. It helps me to think about what had happened during the day, any plans for tomorrow, and in general, calm down the mind and body to have a deep sleep. The sleep is probably the most important part in losing weight, especially on the low calorie diet because body takes more time to recover. So make sure you get a good quality sleep, ideally eight to 10 hours. And I think that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this format where I'm sharing some knowledge with you. If this was helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna be posting much more. But for now, till the next one, peace.